Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we have a special video that we're dedicating to Nico and Lucas. Thank you so much, guys, for the giveaway. They sent us a box, not a giveaway. They sent us a, a gift. They're awesome. And they're awesome. And, and we it's awesome. Yeah, and we actually opened the box on a live stream. If you didn't catch it, I'm gonna leave the link up here. But uh, we felt like in kind of recognition for the gift, we wanna give them something. Absolutely. And this one is an interesting one because this one shows water hacks, which are basically explained by science. And in the past, I've been critical of the fact that you come up with the craziest like Wrong. theories. Wrongfully, you know, critical. Yeah. Wrongfully. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so I'm going to admit. That's why I wore a cephalopod hat today because I... they're scientifically known to be aliens. Well, okay. But, so, so I did that on purpose. So what I'm going to do is I, I pull a video showing water hacks that can be explained by science. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let you do the explanation and let Please people judge. Please do let me explain it, which I haven't seen this, but so, I'll know it. Nico and Lucas, thank you again. This is for you. All right. So these are five-minute crafts. Hopefully they get to do some of these. Okay, right, here we go. Let's let's listen or watch. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes in the microwave, so basically a bomb. How is it? How is it boiling a pen and sugar and a knife? What what's happening here? Can you explain? Sure. All right, let's pause. Okay, when you heat something up. Mm. Do you know why something gets hot in general? Because the molecules are moving faster and faster and faster and faster. Something makes them move faster and faster, and that makes them hot. It's just moving particles, moving molecules faster. Would everybody agree with that? Yes, except for he doesn't know, so he's not going to agree or disagree. He's just going to be confused. Are we, are we, are we good on part one sure. of the bubbling? Yeah, let's... Okay, after the molecules are heated moving faster inside the water when it's still mm -hmm. now you add an object into that faster moving object which are, those bubbles are just colliding with it man and they're gonna they're i mean the molecules are colliding they're moving around they're right because i told you they got more okay. heat in them and they bubble up when they collide they just explode perfect ex move on there's nothing to argue pretty sure the comments are going to be Usually they're supportive. There could be one or two people disagreeing with this one. Well, I, I, anything probably like people that know what's happening. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that sounded insulting, I'm thinking. All right, okay, next so what's one. The, so you heat up a pan for one minute, and now the water is like sliding. doesn't stick to it. So what, what was that about? Can you explain that one? You heated up the pan. Yeah, for one minute. And, and the, the water, water doesn't. Yeah. What is that? Why does that happen? I mean, that's obvious, isn't it? From a, from a scientific principle, what's mm. happening there is this. It's the same. It's sort of like the other one. All right. You're causing motion mm. by when you heat up the particles. I told you they're moving. You're so the pan is moving. The thing that... The thing that causes movement is the, excuse me, the thing that's causing the water not to stand still is the movement of the particles. The heat is causing the particles to move faster and faster and faster. You, mm. know, you know when you're cold, you don't want to move very fast? No. But when you're hot, you'd like to move a lot faster. You know how you- No, it's the opposite. You know how you're cold, like you get kind of lethargic. When you get heated up, like you wake back up. Like let's take like a lizard. Oh or an alligator. Where's like at the guy? alligator farm, when that alligator is cold, like at Mike Young's alligator farm, they actually don't move. And then as you reheat them, as they heat up in the sun, they come back because their molecules are moving around more. And that's the perfect explanation for what happened here. Wow. It, it's sort of a, a just, similarity Just out of curiosity. That. Does that uh, make sense, everybody? Just out of curiosity. It should make what, sense to the general What scientific world. law explains that phenomenon? You don't know? No. I mean, what? You took science of diving. Okay. So, I mean, 
which yeah. scientist did we discuss okay, okay. that causes molecules Forget. to expand? If you're not going to answer, then... Well, no, I want you to try to answer. I don't... I... Okay. Well, you... Okay, so let's. I gave you an opportunity to try to show people. Okay, so I, your this knowledge. One, this one, please explain on in like very, very few words. So he's taking a, a, a bottle, a right. bottle, right, and he's putting like what seems to be like a bandage over it, and so he, so he takes that and puts it on a rubber band. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, and then he fills it up with water through the bandage. Mm-hmm. So clearly, water goes through it. Now it doesn't leak, so what? Before we move into the next one. Oh, that's Bernoulli's principle of flight. You, have, you know how an airplane flies? This is I, this is related to flying. What's happening there is the water is actually... Let's move on. All right, so on the third... I didn't even get to finish my... The, it's I, being sucked up. What do you mean? Low suck pressure up? above that water area, sucking that water and preventing it from dripping down. That's a good enough explanation for you. Wow. You need to accept that and just move on. Okay. <clears throat> you would prop. Oh. So you take these sparklers. Sparklers, yeah. And you put them on the water. The gunpowder is waterproofed inside the sparkler. Look at that. That's yeah, but, pretty cool. Yeah, that's easy. The, the, and they burn on the water because the gunpowder is protected from the water you're burning when you're actually burning a sparkler you're burning the inside of the sparkler and that outside good looking color pink stuff is is waterproof in it dude i got i got some matches that i i carry on the boat and stuff they burn underwater like you can light the match on bury it take it off and it's still on it's the craziest it's witchery it's unbelievable. It's science. Everything is science. Mm. And by the All way, right, I may not know some of them. So far, it's obvious that I so did. So far, you're but these. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say I know all of them. Okay, so this is baby oil. Let's see. Okay, and then water. They don't mix. That's no. Okay, so water is at the bottom, or oil is at the bottom? Well, the oil is heavier, so that's going to okay. sink. So now they put like an alka seltzer in here or something. And now you get like a lava lamp action going. That's, that's pretty cool. So what? But it's just stirring up the bubbles that are lower because mm. the the alka is creating uh, bubbles that are just lifting up the oil from the bottom. Look at that. Ooh. And pretty cool. They should try this one. Yeah. Take a quick do-it-yourself lava lamp. I don't know why, but the part I can't explain mm. is I'm not exactly sure why the Alka-Seltzer itself bubbles. I don't know why it, it's reacting to water and then causing bubbling. Probably chemistry. Okay, so oil and spirit. See, sometimes the, I'm not sure. I, I'm not. I think that was a compliment. I'll take it positive. Water, water and soap. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens to right. these. Okay. Like a low pressure thing I talked about. Whoa. Something's happening. No. Whoa, they traded places, dude. How? What? I, no, I'm not sure about that. I don't understand. I'm not. That was unbelievable. Okay, understand. I'm gonna I'm gonna test your your brain on this one. So you got those C class. I'm gonna pause. Right it. now, my brain it, it actually it hurts a little for some reason because of all the thinking I'm doing. Okay, let's see if you can figure this one out. So how can you make the glasses alternate between f- empty and full while only touching one glass? So you have three full ones on the left, three empty ones on the right. By only touching one of these, you need to make them alternate. So like full, empty, full, empty, full, empty. So what, what will you do here? By only touching one glass. Yes. I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. This is tough. You know the answer? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Okay, well then why don't you explain it? Well, let's just watch the guy do it. But I was just trying to see if you can make a game time decision here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can make it in a timely manner it's at this particular moment in time. Hopefully I mean, some I of like you watching to, already figure this out. You just dump it on the other one. That's it. Transfer the liquid. You're done. It's like a riddle. Well, cold water and warm water. Food coloring. I don't think you knew What's going to happen? 
they mix obviously yellow and blue make green but they stay blue and yellow but if it's regular water they just mix completely that's pretty cool coal and hot water they don't mix very well okay this one i know Which you know we for probably sure. know this that, one i know you know for sure okay. i mean you know that cold and hot water so I mean, what's happening here normal how did the liquid go inside the glass oh i mean you, you i didn't even oh, watch any of the video you just what go ahead do it again so i can okay all right so we knew this one let's just fast forward here okay we saw this one move on okay, okay. pay attention it's after this one right that's the hot and cold that doesn't mix yeah okay, okay. so you Hold have on. a i got my pause button all right he's lighting a candle. the candle yeah surrounded by water put a glass over it and then the glass sucks the liquid in you burned all the oxygen out of the glass makes a vacuum and it sucks up everything inside of it because there's no longer air not even oxygen there's no longer i think it probably burned everything out of it yeah so it makes a vacuum a that's cool um this one is the same bottle that we saw before just that didn't leak water now he's pulling toothpicks inside of it how cool is that watch it's the same one as before wow it's pretty that's awesome wild. right okay this one i i'm not sure if i understand i assume like, I was thinking these things are hot, but they're just coloring. So he pokes, that's definitely poking a hole through that bag. And yeah, and they don't leak somehow. I guess it must create some kind of a suction around. Yeah, I don't know. Look at this. A peel orange. We suck. What? I'm just saying, overall, we're not too, um... I mean, I... Fifth grade, sixth grade science projects... I think you haven't explained any of them, and I explained three. Just well, I, I I can explain this one. So look, okay. uh, peel orange versus an orange with a little bit versus an orange completely unpeeled, and they float a different. That's because the peel adds buoyancy. It's like neoprene. So that's the and basically specifically, love. it's displacing. It is displacing more water weight than it weighs so it's an upward force it's archimedes principle yep all right here we go look at this started emptying but now he rotates this thing and it's a tornado that's pretty cool by the way you end it scientifically stopped i stopped explaining these these ones really, really explain any of this but then it just works out <laughs> look at this all right, so that makes sense. Now, if you use glycerin, which I have no idea where you even get glycerin, where do you where do you go for glycerin? Like Walmart? I haven't been buying it lately. <laughs> but now you have water or something. And what happens? Glycerin. I'm not really sure. Water. What in the world is happening? <laughs> what what's what am I supposed to be understanding? <laughs> I don't, I don't even I <laughs> I'm so dumb I don't even know what I'm supposed to be happened? trying to figure out other than, I don't we're idiots <laughs> we just I, I just want to go underwater maybe a pretty fish and maybe caves. Nico and Luca can explain this to us um, and by the way you know they will be look at the water is climbing up the rope that's pretty cool and here's the same principle with with uh, paper towel yes the liquid climbs all the way to the other side and starts filling up the glass. Okay, so why does the water travel to the dry substance like that? What's causing it? Why doesn't it just only soak in the one little spot that it touched versus going all up through it? I'm asking you, since you tested me. Do you, what, what do I have, a PhD in, in, in Charmin? And in anything? nothing other than you know the word phd that's as far oh, as you go with god. phd in anything um the water is going to travel to the point of i'm just making up you know we've all heard <laughs> of that something travels to the point of least resistance what nothing to do with this at all whatsoever 
Wow. But I, I, but you, I wanted to use that phrase and hope, uh, tried to apply it in one of these six experiments, but I don't think it fit in any of them. Wow. Something travels to the point of least resistance <clears throat> is a known scientific principle that is irrelevant to anything that happened here. And on that terrible disappointment, we're going to end this video. Thank you again, Nico and Lucas, for uh, the gift. And hopefully you can explain why any, any of this, this happens. Any of it. Because we have no idea. Hopefully you <laughs> laughed and uh, you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. But before we go, there's a couple more things you can try. And we're going to leave a, a, a video right here. And you don't have a PhD. I, don't even, I can't even. <laughs>